This is the smiley face, probably the most recognizable piece of art ever, ever. Now, as an artist, someone trying to learn how to draw better or just learn how to draw, what would happen if I drew this 100 times? Well, let's get to class and find out. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. So the question was, what happens if I draw this 100 times? So this right here, 100 times. And we all know that's the smiley face. You know, that's probably the most simplest of drawings out there. You know, so what would happen if I drew that a hundred times. Well, have you ever looked at a picture from an artist? And I just happen to have this, like you look at a picture and you say to yourself, wow, man, I wish I could draw like this. The only reason that you cannot draw like that is because you just didn't put enough time into it. Every artist will tell you, oh, I've been drawing for a long time. I've been doing all the study and I've been doing all that. That's the difference between you and some other artists that you like that can draw better than you. So if you did this 100 times, you did this over and over 100 times. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So by the time you got to that 100th time, the one thing that you would be is confident of knowing how to do it. And you would know how to do it. Two, three, four, five months later, you'd still be, okay, yeah, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Because you have done it so many times that you would be so confident that you, no one could tell you that you couldn't do it. And that's one of the things about us artists. You know, we, we don't want to put our stuff out unless it's the best of the best. But the only way you can get to be the best of the best is just by doing it again and again and again and again. So what would happen if you do this 100 times? Let's just say, I'll go again, 88, 89, 90, 91, 99. This is my 99th time doing this, right? So... Let's just say that was the, 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 the 98th. This is the 99th time doing this right here. This is the 99th time doing this right here. 99 and 100. This is the 100th time that I have done this smiley face right here. 100 times. Boom. I am confident. I am an artist. I am I am the best of drawing smiley faces. So one of the things that would happen is not only would you be so confident that you would not be ashamed to draw this around anybody, but you would say, okay, there's got to be more. There has to be more to doing this. I want to learn how to draw. I've got this down. And this goes for any shape, square, triangle, rectangle. And that's the same thing I say when I always say is when you learn before you start drawing, master your shapes. And this is one of the shapes. This is a circle. Easiest thing to draw. Now it might not be completed circle, but you know how to draw a circle. So what I want to do is erase these extra lines because we're going to do a little bit more. So you've got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. I want to do some more to it. So what can I do to this to make it look better? I'm an artist. So let's try this. Let's do this. So I'm going to do this. Just put another half circle down here. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And I want to do this. Another piece of a circle right here. Just, just, little, just little shapes right here. Okay, all right. It's getting some life to it. So let me put down like this. Maybe like a little bottom lip. Uh-huh. Okay, so let me get my little nose. Let's put a little V. Just a little tiny little V here. Like that. All right, okay. So... How about this? Let's, let's, let's give him some teeth. He's smiling. So let's put a line here and then just do that like that. Look at that. Look, he's coming to life. So, all right. How about the eyes? So let's just put, <clears throat> let's just put the, the top of the eyes over here. Just half of, half of, half of a circle, not even half a circle, quarter of a circle like that. Okay. Now over here, let's just put like that, a little, make it a little V, just like the eyes are coming together. And then, how about a little circle in the eye? We're going to bring these eyes to life. And these are just simple shapes. This is simple shape. These are for you people that just say, I can't get it. I don't know how to do it. 
So I'm gonna color this in, except for those little circles, because that's where your light comes from. Gives him a little life to his his um his eyes. And then over top of this, maybe something like that, maybe some brow like that, eyebrows like that. And then let's just say a little piece like that for the nose to come down. And I'm gonna make his nose a little bigger. So just just add a little bit of a wing like that. And you say, wow. What happened to this, to this, with some simple shapes? So uh, let's get my little chin. Let's do another little shape, a little U right there for the chin. And let's just take this up into the circle. Let's make that chin a little bigger. I'll make the chin a little bigger, not so pointy, not so pointy. So like that, and then take that up into the face. Now let's give him some ears, which is another half a circle. I'm really not gonna change the circle, not gonna change the circle. So another half a circle right there, another half a circle right there. I'm gonna give him a little half a circle in there, half a circle in there. And then say, hmm, let's give him some hair. Let's just, whatever kind of hair this guy has or wants or needs like that. And then the hair is gonna come off of that head. Let's give him some crazy, you know, little anime-ish kind of hair. And just erase that line in here as best you can. And now you've gone from this to this with just a few lines. So for you people that say, I can't draw, I can't draw. It's just adding. Do your shapes first. Do your shapes first. Master your shapes. Learn your shapes till you're confident. And then just add a little bit more to it. So I could do even more. I could like bring the nose up here, give them that, and uh, fix that mouth. Maybe give them some cheekbones here. Let's say give them a little neck right here. Two straight lines. Do a, a, a U like that. Just bring it down like this. Give them some shoulders. Now I have completed. I've completed. I've drawn a character. A character. I could name this character color this character, put whatever designs on his shirt. It's very simple to draw. So you say, what if I want to draw a girl? What if I want to do a female? You can't, if I can get this paper loose. I'll just put this guy right here. Just put this guy right here. Let's see if you can see that. From this, from this to this. Now, let's just say, I don't want to do a circle, but I've done a circle, so I'm good at doing a circle, so I can kind of do an oval now. More of an oval, like that. Same thing, here's my eyes, and here's my mouth. Here is your smiley face, the simplest drawing you can do in an oval. So again, let's just say I want to do this. Give this, this, this let's say this is gonna be a, a woman, a woman. All right, so I'm gonna do that again, and then I'm going to do this. Let's do the basics first, let's do the basics. And then the nose, let's give her a little smaller nose. Do the eyes. That circle inside, that eye, same place on both eyes. Bring that life to it. And then let's give this a little more character to that nose. This little bridge that comes down there. So right here for the female, I'm gonna do the letter M. I'm gonna do the letter M just like this. And so I'm gonna slope it out like that. Now you can have like this, you can leave it like this. Color that top because you have shadow. Or I can bring it down, another one down like this. These are just simple lines to have her mouth open. And then if I want to do the teeth, I could do the teeth, but this is black, so I'm not going to, if it was black, I'm not going to shade that in, her mouth is open. Now, the difference between the male and the female is when you come here, I'll do this little line, but with the female, you just slope up like that. One, two, three, that's all you need, just three lines going up. So you're going to go one, two, three, like that, you have a female. Now you can some in, in like especially in a lot of anime, some anime, not a lot of anime. They, they'll put the bottom of the eye 
right there because when we, when we draw the eye real quick, we'll do something like this, that little football shape, put the eye in there. But there's different ways to do eyes. So from there, let's give her a little chin and then connect that to that, that uh, oval. Give her some eyebrows and you can, you can add emotions by raising and lower, lowering, lower, why can't I say that word today? Lowering your eyebrows. Okay, so some ears, which is just that oval again. Inside line, inside line, a line right there, a line right there. And then whatever type of hair. Now, when you're doing a female, I would look at fashion magazines or just any kind of picture of women's hairstyles and just give the woman the type of hair that you want, that you think it might best suit your character. And then again, give a little neck t-shirt, which is just that circle and that circle and then that. And then you have from the most simplest drawing that you have mastered a hundred times, now you have started to do cartoon characters. Now to do more, you just add more to it. You, as you go along, you add more lines to the face. You add some shadow to your lines or you add some shadows to your face. You already got that. And then eventually you will become a better artist than you are today by just doing simple shapes, simple shapes. It's easy to draw. I've always said that when I first did my video, first video, I said it's very simple to learn how to draw. And from this to this to this. So can you imagine if you actually drew this, this one a hundred times and it started to add more and more and more. Overnight, well, depends on how long it took you to draw, took you to draw a hundred times, took you to draw that a hundred times. Overnight, you would become a better artist. Just this one video, if you follow these steps, you have become a better artist. Did I say a better video? A better artist. So that's gonna be it. <clears throat> it's early morning, I, I didn't stretch my voice, so this is why it's cracking. That's gonna be it. Follow these steps. See how good an artist you can become in just 13 minutes, 14 minutes, however long this video was going to be. All right, and now through the magic of television, I'm going to ink these real quick and show you exactly what I get when I ink them. All right, here we go. And there you have it. Throw some ink on this bad boy, and then you can come up with all different kinds of designs. So if you drew this 100 times, and then you were comfortable with this, then you could start adding more to it and more to it and more to it. And eventually you would become that artist that you want to become because all it is, is just time and practice. Don't ever be ashamed of your work. Don't ever be afraid to show anybody um, what you can do and don't throw your stuff away just because you don't like it. Keep that as a reference for later years. You can go back and say, oh, this is all I could do at one point until I saw Brian's video and now look what I'm doing. I'm creating incredible works of art. So this was for somebody. I knew that you needed that. So this is why I did this quick, simple little drawing. So it's not simple, it's simple. So that's gonna be it for this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep coming back, learning more. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the notification bell so that when I draw or upload something, you'll know it and um, Give me a like. All right, that's it. I'm out. Later.